Hey, Terry, can I talk to you for a moment? Sure, what's up? I'm really upset. Do you know why? No idea. Did I do something to upset you? You really don't get it, do you? As a newcomer, you're quite cheeky. What do you mean by cheeky? You mentioned a mom's trip, right? You didn't even invite me, the boss mom. What were you thinking? I thought you didn't want to go to LA. I said I didn't want to go to LA because I've been there many times, but I did say I'd go to Vegas. I even recommended a nice hotel. I remember, but that hotel was a way over budget, and the other moms agreed it was too expensive. That's why I suggested LA as a more budget friendly option. Why does everything get decided based on your suggestions? If you had just agreed with the other moms, we could have gone to Vegas. Unlike the other moms, you're really cheeky, especially as a newcomer. I'm sorry if I made you uncomfortable, but I felt it was important to be honest. The other moms seemed uncomfortable with the budget, too. Fine. I've decided to join the trip to LA. But I thought you didn't want to go to LA. I wanted to go to Vegas, but I'll compromise this time. You don't have to go if you don't want to. A trip without the boss mom is unthinkable. Just make an extra reservation. Got it. I'll take care of it. By the way, from now on, I'll handle everything as the boss mom. Are you sure? Of course. I can't trust a newcomer like you. Just leave it to me. The day before the trip. Terry, can you come by my house tomorrow before heading to the airport? Why? I need a ride to the airport. But your house is close to the airport. You can take a bus there. I have a lot of luggage. Please just do it. On the day of the trip. Emily, come back here. What have you done? It's your fault for being cheeky. I'll tell the other moms you're sick and can make it. You'll stay here for three days. Don't worry, I'll let you out then. What are you saying? You're the one who will see hell. What are you talking about? Are you trying to threaten me? You should be the one begging for your life. Ugh, you're such a horrible person. Do you know what you're doing is a crime? If you come back and let me out, I won't make a big deal out of it. Are you threatening me? No, I'm warning you. I'm not someone who breaks easily. We're already on the train. There's no turning back. So you're not coming back? Of course not. Why would I ruin my trip because of you? We'll enjoy our trip. Try to survive for three days. I had my husband contact the police. The police? You contacted the police? Yes, police officers are on their way. I'm glad I have my phone. You know a police officer? Yes, and my husband is a lawyer. He said he'll make sure you're held accountable. Well, your husband is a lawyer? There's no need to tell everyone. The other moms probably don't know either. Wait, I'll come back right now. Just call off the police. No way. Staying in that warehouse could be deadly. I'm coming to rescue you, so call off the police. Having police at my house will cause rumors. You did this to yourself. Why did you give me a phone if you didn't want me to use it? I thought you were too slow to call for help. I guess I underestimated you. Did you tell the other moms? Yes, and they all despise you. They said they won't travel with you and are cutting ties. Please explain it was a misunderstanding. It wasn't a misunderstanding. I told them the truth. I'm getting a call from an unknown number. It's probably the police. Please tell them it was a mistake. Too late, the police are at your house. No, my husband will be furious. They contacted your husband since you didn't answer. He already knows. No way, we'll talk about this later. Terry, I'm really sorry for what happened. I wasn't thinking straight. My husband is furious and my in-laws are demanding a divorce. It's no surprise. No one would trust a mom who kidnapped someone. So you're getting a divorce? I don't want to, but my husband insists. What should I do? I can't survive without him. That's unfortunate. You wouldn't demand alimony from me, right? I have to. I have no choice. What do you mean? You haven't paid back the money you owe the other moms. They always had to cover your expenses. You're using them like your personal wallet. No wonder they didn't want you on the trip. They told me they didn't want you to come. I didn't understand why at first, but now it makes sense. The total amount you owe is $1,500. I didn't borrow that much. Even if you don't remember, the receipts are there. If you don't pay, my husband will take legal action. He's willing to help. Wait, I can't handle this. I already owe money to my husband and you. I can't take on more debt. Then get a loan and pay them back. Start working and pay it off bit by bit. I've never worked before. I've always been a housewife. You're an adult. You can work. The other moms want their money back within a week. A week? That's impossible. I need at least six months. They've been waiting for over six months. It's time to pay them back. A certified letter will be sent to you. Make sure to respond. Then you'll get the money you owe me too. If you object, we'll take it to court. If you lose, you'll pay the legal fees too. 
No, I'll be bankrupt. My parents have disowned me. I have no one to rely on. Please show some mercy. What you did was a crime. You have to take responsibility. Understand the gravity of your actions. So you're telling me to go to hell? Yes, exactly. Please, I won't do anything to hurt you again. It's too late. The other moms agree with me. They don't want to associate with you anymore. But we're friends. You've always been the one causing trouble. We're the victims here. Take full responsibility for your actions. From now on, I won't respond to anything other than the money. Please, I'm really sorry. After that, Emily paid the alimony I demanded. She also repaid the money she owed to the other moms. She had to borrow money to pay it all back. Emily soon divorced her husband and left town. Her husband demanded repayment for the money she had taken. Emily's debts increased. She's probably struggling somewhere far away now. I have no sympathy for her. She deserves to suffer. We'll continue to live our peaceful lives. Ugh, I can't forgive this. Truly unforgivable. What? You call me out of the blue saying you can't forgive me? Why am I not allowed to join the mom's trip? Don't you think this is unfair? No, not really. It's because you always bring your whole family on these mom's trips. Well, of course, my whole family is very close. It's nice to have a close family, but these are mom's trips. Isn't it a bit much to bring your entire family? Ah, uh, shut up. I find it more enjoyable to travel with a big group. That's why I bring my entire family. Fine, let's say bringing them is okay, but making us pay for everyone's meals and souvenirs was too much. Everyone was shocked. So what? It's fine. There are many people, so we should split the costs. If you are going to split the costs, everyone, including your family, should contribute. How can you expect my children who have no income to pay? That's so heartless of you. No, that's not what I mean. If you're bringing your family, you should cover their expenses. Why should I do that? Since we're all friends, it's better to have them pay. It's a mom's trip. Stop thinking about saving money. Even if it's a saving for you, it's a burden for us. Isn't it fine as long as my family benefits? Absolutely not. You can't go on a trip relying on others' money. You must cover your own costs if you want to join. I don't deserve to be told off like this. My family is looking forward to it. We always talk about how we get to travel for free. Ugh, how shameless. This trip, plan to spend more on food and souvenirs. Make sure you have enough money for the trip. I can't believe you. Fine, I'll handle it my way. Have fun regretting it. The other day. We've arrived at the airport. I know you're traveling around Seattle today. Come pick us up. Every 10 minutes you're late is a $300 fine. We've arrived at LAX airport. I'm exhausted. What do you mean? Do you know LAX airport? Of course I know. But weren't you supposed to be in Seattle? We've always planned to go to Disneyland. We never intended to go to Seattle. What? That makes no sense. I heard from Emma and Amy that you were going to Seattle. Don't you get it? No one wanted you to come on this trip. We all decided to trick you. The result is this LA trip. Wait, does that mean the Seattle trip was a lie? Exactly. You finally got it. How could you do this? Deceiving someone is the worst. Isn't using others' money as if it were your own the worst? Well, enjoy your family trip in Seattle. No way. We didn't bring any money. My husband doesn't plan to spend money either. We probably only have enough for the return flight. We can't enjoy anything like this. That's what happens when you rely on others' money for a trip. You can always withdraw money from a local ATM. No way, I'm not doing that. Come to Seattle right now. This is an order. I don't take orders from you. We're heading to Disneyland. I don't care, I'm in trouble. Come help me. So you're in trouble? We've had trouble because of you, so this is fair. No, it's not fair at all. Come back now. It's wrong for me to suffer like this. What's wrong is your past actions. You've always taken advantage of us. We just prevented it this time. Uh, shut up. I won't forgive this. We'll travel on your money. Always relying on others. Why don't you come to LA? I told you we only have enough for the return flight. How can we go to LA now? But you can't get money from us in Seattle either. If you want money, come to LA. So if I go to LA, you'll give me money? I didn't say I'd give you money. Just said it would be fun if you came. Are you tricking me? No tricks, just an invitation to Disneyland. Why now? This makes no sense. We're done with you. We're kicking you out of the mom's group. 
We can't stand being used by you anymore. What? You can't be serious. You can't kick me out. It's the obvious outcome. You've been taking advantage of us. I haven't done anything wrong. Just borrowed some money. That's the problem. We'll let this go if you accept the consequences. No way. Why do I have to suffer like this? I have four kids, a big family. Our living costs are high. Your living costs are your problem. Don't push that onto us. How can you say that? We contribute to solving the low birth rate. Treating us unfairly is discrimination. Oh, now it's discrimination? It's just self-defense. We can't keep supporting your lifestyle. If you have many kids, budget your expenses. How can you be so heartless? My kids can't even go on a trip? Not really my concern. If you care about your kids, make sacrifices. We have to buy cosmetics, clothes, and bags. We need brand name Jurley. You waste money on those things? No wonder you can't afford trips. Shut up! I buy what I want. Fine, then suffer the consequences. We're enjoying Disneyland. Have fun in Seattle. Wait! Come to Seattle and pay for our trip. Then you can go to Disneyland. That's not happening. We won't be paying for you anymore. This is an order. My husband is furious. Of course he is. He thought it was a free trip. Why am I suffering like this? Please, come to Seattle. I'm begging you. Begging won't change anything. This is the result of your actions. I'll sue you. Sue us? You planned to use our money and got tricked. That's stupid. It's the truth. Please, I won't take advantage anymore. I've learned my lesson. I don't trust you. We need to ensure you can't exploit us again. Why is this happening to me? I just wanted to enjoy a trip with my family. Why do I have to suffer? You're not the victim. We are. Stop acting like the victim. Please, forgive me. My husband is furious. After that, Lily had a big fight with her husband. Leah left Seattle. Their arguments continued and they eventually divorced. Her husband took the kids. Lily was left alone. She works at a supermarket now. She regrets her actions daily. It's self-inflicted. With Lily gone, we can travel worry-free. Hey, Yulia. I heard your daughter got into that famous private school. Congratulations. As expected, the daughter of a mom who looks down on others is different. Uh, wait a minute, Mila. What do you mean by a mom who looks down on others? When have I ever looked down on anyone? Oh, you always do. You treat us ordinary people like losers who can't study. I've never done that. What are you talking about? Yes, you have. You always act like being smart is the best thing. Looking down on ordinary people is the worst. I don't look down on anyone. That's just your imagination. Then why are you going to a fancy French restaurant to celebrate your daughter's acceptance? Why do you have to say that? It's a special occasion, so I thought we'd have something nice. That's exactly what I mean. You go to fancy places we can't afford and look down on us. I told you I'm not doing that. Then don't go to the fancy French restaurant. If you do, I'll forgive you. I don't understand what you mean, but my daughter is looking forward to French, and we've already made a reservation. We're definitely going. Oh, so you're going ahead even after I told you not to? Fine then, I'll join you. Join us? You mean at the French restaurant? Yes, if you treat us ordinary people to a fancy French meal, I'll forgive you. That makes no sense. There's no reason for me to do that. Yes, there is. You've always looked down on me. Consider it compensation. <sighs> That's no reason at all. And I haven't looked down on you. Be quiet. No matter what you say, it's useless. I've already decided I'm going to eat at that fancy French restaurant on your dime. I don't understand. If you want to eat French food so badly, just pay for it yourself. Shut up. I'm eating on your dime. No objections. Keep talking like that and you'll regret it. There's no way I'll regret it. You will. Get ready. The other day. The meal was great. Thanks for treating me. I'm on my way home now, so please take care of the bill. The waiter is calling the police. What? But you paid for my meal. No, I didn't. You dined and dashed. Of course they're calling the police. Dined and dashed? I didn't do that. You paid for my meal. I never said I'd pay. Didn't you ask when you sat down? This restaurant charges by the table. Really? I had no idea. If I'd known, I wouldn't have done it. Well, you insisted on coming along, so I thought I'd teach you a lesson. 
You fell for it, and now the police are involved. So you set me up? Ah, that's low. Who's really the low one here? Each course costs five hundred dollars. Did you expect me to cover that? Five hundred dollars? That's pocket change for someone rich like you. Just pay for my share. There's no reason to. I'm not rich. <laughs> What are you talking about? Liar! You can afford fancy French restaurants, so you must be rich. I only go for special occasions. Normally, we eat simple meals. Liar! Your family is smart and lives in a big house. You must be living well compared to us. You're only seeing the surface. You don't know our actual life. Smart people are rich. That's the rule. Don't make assumptions. We're not particularly wealthy, so I'm not paying for your meal. Don't joke with me. They called the police, right? I'll get arrested. Maybe even jailed. You probably won't go to jail, but you might get fined. Your family will find out. My family? <gasps> That's bad. We're on the verge of divorce. Oh really? Yes. They say I spend too much and don't do any housework. I see. Well, if they find out about this, it'll surely end in divorce. No, please. Do you want to ruin my family? I don't intend to, but from what you've said, divorce is just a matter of time. No, it's not. You can help. Tell the waiter it's a mistake. I don't owe you that. You've always been rude to me. I'd rather you left our group. <gasps> That's cruel. I want to stay friends with everyone. Have lunch together. By the way, haven't you done the same to other moms? What do you mean? I remember you borrowed money from Sally and Lily. You came to lunch without a wallet. I didn't take their money. I just <sighs> borrowed it. Borrowed without paying back is the same as taking. Where are you now? I'm home. Well, stay there. The waiter called the police, and they'll come to you soon. What? The police are coming? I need to pack and escape. Even if you try to escape, the police are efficient. You won't get away. You should turn yourself in and get a lighter sentence. I'll never turn myself in. You should. You caused this. What are you talking about? This happened because of you. You followed me to the restaurant. It's your fault for going to a fancy restaurant. If you hadn't, this wouldn't have happened. You decided to follow me. Think about what you've done. I did nothing wrong. I just wanted to eat something nice. Ugh, that's the problem. Ruining your life over five hundred dollars and causing a divorce. How sad. Why pity me? This is your fault. When will you realize your mistakes? Why am I wrong? You tried to take advantage of others. We need to stop you from harming anyone else. Stop! Please don't call the police. My husband will be furious. Too late. The police are probably at your house now. Already? That's too fast. I told you they're efficient, and I gave them information. You what? You gave them information? You want me divorced? I'll get back at you. Your kids will regret it. How dare you threaten my kids? I won't let that happen. I'll make sure all the moms know to keep you away. What are you planning? I know about your affair. I'm not having an affair. Stop making things up. It's well known among the moms. And you gamble at host clubs, and your husband will take your kids. My kids? No, he can't. Yes, your husband will take them. You'll lose everything. Too bad. If that happens, I'll make your kids suffer. Keep talking, and I'll take this as a threat to the police and a lawyer. A lawyer? Yes, you'll be reported as a dangerous mom. You might end up in jail. Please, no. I was wrong. Help me. No way. Anyone who threatens children can't be left free. You'll regret it forever. Please help me. I don't want this. Mila was fined for dining and dashing, and her husband discovered her misdeeds, leading to their divorce. Additionally, I reported Mila's threats to a lawyer, resulting in a restraining order against her from all the moms. Mila ended up bankrupt from the fines and alimony, and was left with nothing. I believe she got what she deserved. Our mom group is peaceful now, and Mila is gone from our lives. Now I enjoy leisurely lunches with my mom friends.